Hi, uh, welcome back students and um, uh, uh, today we are going to discuss about the basics of the controllers. Of course, in the class we have uh, learned how the mathematics behind the control systems. But once it comes to the I mean, process industries, then how a controller works, how, what signal it takes, what output it generates, all of this is going to have a bigger sense okay and uh, what is uh, today we are going to discuss about the basics of the controllers and uh, some i mean uh, basically p and pi controllers okay uh, let us go to the i mean uh, simulator mode to have more idea of what we're going to discuss yeah Imagine uh, this is uh, the I mean a simulator program of effect of P and PI controller. It's very simple thing. A process stream uh, is going from unit A to unit B. So with uh, two lines, one line is connected to a valve which is controlled by BA controller and one more line is connected to a valve which is connected to P controller. So using this uh, simulator program, we can understand uh, what are the implications of different controllers, which controller is better, what is uh, if the if controller has some issues, what could be the major issues. Uh, with the p controller what is the advantages we have with the pi controllers okay let us see before we go into the uh, basic simulator mode and uh, let me show you the simple things so in order for a controller to does the job of controlling it has to get a signal from somewhere let us see where it signal comes how it generates in this particular video let us talk about this p controller because uh, the way of uh, receiving the signal uh, is the same for all the controllers let us see imagine uh, in order for me to control the flow rate through this particular line which is connected to the p controller it has the few things to do one is we have to sense how much amount of flow is going uh, in that particular line so this is the differential pressure i mean sensing element that means it measure uh, the difference in the pressure in the pipe and can and measure the sense this is the first job is to measure the pressure difference then this measurement difference in the pressure will send to the flow transmitter what this flow transmitter does it converts the pressure signal to the current signal which is called I mean, this is how what is the job of the flow transmitter is to convert the pressure signal to the current signal the range because wherever you go in the world i mean uh, the range of the signal uh, from a sensing element ranges from 4 to 20 milliamps this is the range that means it will there is no pressure difference it will give a signal of 4 milliamps it has the highest pressure difference in the pipe it is going to 20 milliamps the range of the signal that comes from the flow transmitter is between the range of uh, 4 to 20 milliamps mm -hmm. and then this current signal goes to the uh, signal distributor what is the signal distributor it converts the current signal to voltage that is what because the controller will accept only voltage signal not current signal that is why the signal distributor does the job of converting this milliamps the current to volts the range of voltage it is going to generate is from the 1 to 5 volts example if the minimum uh, current that comes from the flow transmitter is 4 and uh, then it will correspondingly generates a signal of 1 volt and the flow transmitter is giving 20 milliamp that is a maximum that is current that can expect from the flow transmitter the corresponding voltage it is going to generate is 5 volt so the range of voltage that comes from the signal distributor is from the 1 to 5 volts this 1 to 5 volts is goes to the controller 
so depending upon the range of volts it is going to receive it is going to generate some signal okay what is that signal it will generate some current the output from the controller is in the form of a current this current okay goes to the ip converter what is this ip converter uh, current to pneumatic signal okay the, depending upon the amount of current the controller is going to generate automatically it converts this current signal to pneumatic signal because what is our ultimate job is to control the flow rate through the valve so uh, what more is the current it will create no pneumatic pressure signal okay currently it is receiving 7.8 psi pounds per square inch that means with this current 10.4 milliamps it will going this ip converter will generate this much of 7.8 pounds per square inch pressure accordingly the valve opening more is the pressure more is the opening less is the pressure that is going to receive less is the opening this is how the controller action is going to takes place let me come back okay let's small the pressure sensor will detect the difference in the pressure it will send a signal pneumatic what are the pressure sensing signal to the flow transmitter the flow transmitter what does it converts the pressure signal to current that signal distributor that converts the uh, current to volts then this voltage goes to the controller this controller will output is in the form of a again current then this current goes to the ip converter ip converter does the job of current to the pneumatic okay finally the pneumatic signal that is amount of pressure that goes into this control valve finally decided depending upon the amount of pressure higher is the pressure that is coming from the I mean, ip converter more is the opening of the valve less is the signal that is coming uh, i mean from the ip less is the opening of the valve this is how in industry the controller action is going to take place and this is what the beauty of the system and same is the case with the pi controller also here again this differential pressure goes to the flow transmitter signal distributor then it goes to the controller then it goes to the ip converter then finally this particular valve is controlled okay same is the i mean way it which receives its signal and sends the signals okay uh, this is now let us uh, observe uh, this particular i mean uh, chart i mean the image see what happens a flow is going to takes place from unit a to unit b okay and if somehow disturbance let us say uh, the flow rate is around uh, 10,000 kilo uh, I mean kg per hour here also in the second line also the flow is in you know, a 10,000 kilo gram per hour okay there is a one hand indicating control that means I can open this wall with my hand in the process plant and see what is the job of a controller is to maintain this 10,000 in the line that is what is the job of a controller is to maintain this 10,000 kilogram per hour in the line so both the p controller and pa controller the job is to maintain the flow if somehow disturbance is happening in this line how the controller is coming back to this 10000 kilogram per hour is the i mean thing we are supposed to learn okay and how i mean if suppose i have put some disturbance here let us i have opened this valve that is now presently there is no flow that is going through this valve suppose let us say 10 percent if i open the valve by 10 percent there is some disturbance that comes to the both the lines and how this controller is going to react to this disturbance what is the job of a controller is to come even though whatever may be the disturbance that is happened in the line and then we have to come back to the same situations and before we go deeper into the topic in the next video and we have to observe few more if you remember your studies and uh, we can tune the controller right okay i mean you can do the tuning here this is called controller tuning once a moment i press this controller tuning button don't worry about all these other aspects see observe only p i and d okay what is amount of proportional action what is the amount of integral action and what is the amount of derivative action because this is a pi controller you can observe 
only p action and i action is there zero is the derivative action similarly if i go to this particular controller tuning if i touch the tuning button you can see here there is a p controller 166 and pi is the 6000 you know 6000 that means higher the number lower is the action that means if i put higher number in the i that means there is no i action it is going to have instead of putting zero they have put in the 6000 because don't worry about the 6000 because if you remember higher is the number lower is the action lower is the number higher is the action even though p and i both are specified here the major action does by this controller is this p controller which is given 166.67 even though i is given 6000 it is not going to do any action because the number is very high if the number is very high that i will not take part in this uh, control process okay and what are the else we are supposed to learn here let me go back to the graphic window the moment i touch the controller we have three things one is process value one is set value what is manipulated variable yeah i already told you what is the manipulated variable. the amount of opening okay of this valve is called manipulate 40 percent what is set value set value 10,000 now present process value because set value is equal to process value there is no issue of controlling moment the process value is getting disturbed then the controller only will take the action imagine uh, one more thing we can able to do in this control uh, is now controller is in auto mode uh, sometimes uh, auto, uh, controller might get bad okay in such cases we have to separate this automatic action and manual intervention is necessary in such cases uh, see the three modes were given one is hand indicating that means no control action one is auto auto mode this is called auto mode this is cascade mode. don't worry about this cascade mode at this moment only if you wanted to change manually right now it is in auto mode you have to change it to the manual mode okay uh, let me it is in hold condition at this moment so let me start the process then i can able to do changes in this particular window so the moment i uh, right now it is in uh, auto mode okay I will change it to manual mode now. After changing it to the manual mode, you can brought, you can do some changes here. Why I am discussing? Because in the next video, we are going to see uh, on a simulator. I mean, we are going to disturb the system and see how it is going to happen. Okay. Please wait. I mean, please be ready with my uh, next video. Hope you are clear with the controllers. And uh, thank you very much. Here, Dr. Surendra signing off.